You may have heard about some Microsoft exams retiring, but how does that affect you? Hi, I'm Cherokee Boost, an edutainer at IT Pro TV, and I'm here to discuss some of uh, the changes that Microsoft has recently announced. There are going to be some exams retiring this summer, June 30th of 2020, and I thought it would be nice to go ahead and share that with you so you're not stuck in a situation where you're preparing and studying for a particular exam that becomes expired. Now, if we take a look at these categories, you can see the affected certifications. For instance, our Microsoft Certified Solution Associate categories here noted will be retiring June 30th, 2020, as well as the MCSD, your Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer, in addition to the MCSE for your Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. So, if you're like me, you may be wondering, well, I have already been studying and this is my area. This is what I know. This is what I love. I don't want to change. Microsoft has placed some comparable certifications to help with that. As a matter of fact, since the release of those role-based certifications in September of 2018, they have added 34 role-based certifications. So let's take a look at my screen to kind of see what would be comparable. Now you'll notice some of these particular certifications don't have comparable certs. And that's because they're not based on by operating system anymore. They are based by role. So for someone like me, and I have students ask all the time about, well, when is the server 2019 exam coming out? And for the longest time, for the last two years, I've been asking at Microsoft, when, when are we going to see this exam? But the truth of the matter is we're not gonna be seeing an exam based on the operating system anymore. So those skills and technical capabilities of that server operating system will be bundled and coupled up inside of a role-based certification. So if you are like me and you have your MCSC in core infrastructure, you might wanna take a look at this chart. Microsoft does narrow the scope of their available certificates, but here, here they provide a clear path as to what they recommend you should take next. So you'll notice that they recommend taking the Azure Administrator Associate, the Azure Solutions Architect Expert, or the Azure Security Engineer Associate exam to be comparable to that MCSE core infrastructure, looking at those particular technologies and pairing them up with similar learning experiences for you. And you may be thinking, well, Cherokee, I only have one more exam in my you know, path here and I'll have that certification. Well, that's fine. Like I said, you have until June 30th to go and sit that exam. So definitely go for it. If you're just getting started with uh, a certification series, I wouldn't really recommend that unless you are already 100% confident with the material and you knew you were just gonna fly through those exams. But keep that in mind, you are working on a limited time frame here. And if you do successfully pass that exam, the, all of the exams required for a particular certification, you'll have that certification valid for two years. Now you may be thinking, well, what if I already had a pre-existing certification? Like, like I do, right? So that particular exam or that particular certification will be valid for an additional two years after June 30th, 2020. So definitely check out our course library. We are constantly working to upgrade that as well to provide you the most you know, uh, up-to-date content. I've already shot the Azure Administrator Associate and we are currently working on the AZ500. So please check that out in our course library as well as the link that I will include in the description. And if you wanna know more additional or specific answers to your questions based on these certifications, Microsoft has a blog that you can check out. Check out the playlist to see more critical updates and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Cherokee Boost and thanks for watching this critical update.